So wait, one of the legs is is naturally the the good leg. The other leg is naturally the dick leg. Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> like if you cut off circulation to your dick you also do so to one of your legs i don't remember which see this is proof that this is this is proof against intelligent design because that is a design flaw Hey, Roller Coaster Tycoon Part 2. We're back. Roller Coaster of Love. Roller Coaster. So, what happened uh, What happened last time? I we uh, made last a roller coaster. Time we were, uh, there were, yeah. we were talking about how stupid the crowd was for obeying signs when they really shouldn't have. Yeah, and uh, Doctor Who Park Hunger Games, and we found out you were an accidental racist. <laughs> oh, and we talked about how, are, are, how weird we all? it was that people vacation in Seattle, which I hear is cold as balls right now. Oh fuck yeah! It's it this like like it wasn't that bad a couple days ago. I was uh, I got up, I put on like my Hawaiian shirt and other shirt, put on my jacket, put on my jeans, and just go outside. I'm like, eh, it's pretty okay for being fall. Come back home, yeah, it's still pretty okay. Next morning, I get up, go to the bus stop, and I'm like, holy shit, it's cold! You're they were, like, talking about this was gonna be a thing on, like, in the news, that it was gonna be really cold, but it's it was really cold! Imagine that. And you're still wearing a Hawaiian... You are, you are committed to that. Actually, no, I changed up my attire today, but... But, last night was the worst. I was coming home from work, and, uh... And for some reason, they were running at a reduced schedule, like for buses, which meant that a whole bunch of people were pissed off, like out on the stop, and all these buses were just filled, just going by. We had one driver of one bus who's packed to the brim, who was like driving by, going, "Sorry, we can't pick you up, but if it's any consolation, the other stops are pretty much clear." I yelled out to the bus, "Fuck you!" It, so yeah, pretty busy in this weather that everyone's outside yeah, in for some reason. I swapped out my uh, my Hawaiian shirt for a uh, for a sweatshirt or a sweater hoodie. So uh, so I'm, it was actually a lot better today. It was also a lot better because uh, I actually got to get go home in the sun for a change. Oh, well, that's good. So uh, but. Any Anyway, yeah, there's a reason why the water parks aren't open in uh, in the middle of November. Aren't they're not? No, they close like late August. I mean, they, that makes sense. Uh, I just I assumed they were open year round, and they were just <laughs> waiting for for that one weird guy to come all winter long. <laughs> Can you imagine? Okay, it's really cold today. Who would want to go to a water park? People would die. <laughs> like, uh, nobody would even show up to work the because they'd have club. to just be swimming. <laughs> what? That sounds like I a got furry you there, group. Didn't I? <laughs> that sounds like a group of like furries. Like, yeah, we're here for the water park. Can't you see we're polar bears? <laughs> you, do you know who the polar bear club is? No, I don't. They're old guys who, who like they? to who like to go swimming in the middle of winter because it's brisk. Wait, that's a. Th that's a that's, thing, yes. A th Why are they going swimming in the winter? Do they I want to know, die quicker? They have the highest pneumonia rate per year. No shit! <laughs> I'm making that up. But I wouldn't be oh. surprised if it were true. <laughs> I wouldn't either, honestly. I... Maybe Walter's but there are those people... <laughs> the only way he'd, he'd go out in that is if it would help him end his suffering. Yeah, that's oh. true. Sweet hypothermia, take me away. Glug, glug, glug. So I added another roller coaster, as you can see. One for the one for the less brave folk. Yeah, the 
It's the kitty coaster. Yeah. What'd you call it? Though in, in like full standards, that's still probably, you know, about the same extremity as most roller coasters in real life. <laughs> yeah. Well, I guess small park coasters. There's... I mean, the kids, the kids coaster at the county fair was just like a circle with one dip in it. That was it. Ah. Uh. <laughs> County Fair. It's a good thing they don't have the County Fair in November. I don't. I can't think. Of, I can't think of any like Washington uh, County Fairs that start in November. I would imagine not. Like people. I don't ears think there are a lot of County Fairs off. anywhere that would start in November. Anywhere north of the equator, at least. Yeah, south of the equator, that probably be a different, a different like matter because like we're celebrating the harvest, yo. How awesome is, would that be? Celebrating Christmas in the summertime. A couple of martinis, <laughs> some palm trees. Christmas in We've July? We've got the bipolar coaster. We'll call this one the stable white bread coaster with, uh, you know, established life plan. But that won't fit. So we'll just go with stable white bread coaster. Nice. Because it's not bipolar. So... so so yeah, Christmas in July, that's what you've essentially stat like, people who celebrate Christmas in the summer. Yeah, that's a like, thing for half the world. Yeah. Well, no, it's not. It, I mean, it's not in July, it's just July weather. Oh, entrance fee is too cheap. <laughs> Still. <laughs> God, I think I'm up to like $50. To be fair, $50 entry fee? Fuck that. To be fair, like, if somebody offered me, like, free food and I didn't know them, I'd probably be a bit suspicious. Uh, free food? Free food. Where did that come from? Well, entry fee. It's like 50... Oh, the thing is, a free... Uh, using park where you can just go in for free, that... That... that why would people be complaining about that? Yeah. That... Like, I mean, maybe it's suspicious. Have... Maybe it makes them think that we have low, you know, low standards. We have no insurance, maybe. <laughs> it's like Hotel California. Once you go in, you'll never leave. If you die, we're not going to be paying your funeral bills. If you die, we get to use your body as mulch to grow the plants. Also, we may or may not be the ones who murder you. Thanks to our hitman. <laughs> but, John Wick? Yeah, you'd, uh, you you told me about that movie and how much I, you enjoyed it. I was hilarious, dude. It was Keanu Reeves' best role in a while. Yeah. He plays this stoic, he plays this stoic bearded dude who essentially... I like just badasses who don't have to explain why they're badass like you could you you just say their name people go oh like like you would for freaking Miyamoto Musashi or uh or Hercules that's a good one Hercules, Hercules is not a name you don't you, you know you you hear that name and you you go like oh fuck Hercules and you turn the other direction you don't have to People are like, who's Hercules? And then the, the person who does say that, you explain to him, like, he one time strangled a giant lion to death. He's stronger than 50 men. You don't Let's get some fuck music with here. Hercules. Alright. This is a little boring. Yeah, Disney kind of ruined Hercules. Yeah. I'm sure he was Made meant to be such a badass in the original... The original mythos. Oh yeah, no, in the, in the original mythos, the dude, dude was completely like, he was really just like a, like an asshole kinda. Is it huh. raining? Just like his old man. Yes, it's raining. Yeah, like father, like son. Greek gods are dicks, man. Like, this is really creepy music. Yeah. 
Yeah, so... I mean... If you were to create a theme park... Uh, like, about the Greek gods... You'd probably die if you enter it. You get struck by lightning in one... On one th side of the park, drowned in another side of the park. I'm sure there's a park somewhere in the world with that theme to it. <laughs> probably called Olympus. <laughs> Old Mount Olympus. And it's like... That'd be a fun way to use, you know, the act... Mount, Mount Olympus is a real place, right? Is it? Um... I'm actually not sure. I don't think so. Oh. <laughs> There's like how you weren't sure if the world actually, like, flooded and an old, a wily old man and his family built a giant boat to save all the animals... After shooting them with love. <laughs> Noah's Ark. Oh, yeah, 3D. you read that. There's actually. I found this out the other day when I was uh, when I was playing Crusader Kings 2. Uh, apparently, there's like a sect of Christians that believe that uh, that y you can like experience like religious uh, like fulfillment. Through sex, through, oh, sorry, the carnal senses, which is sex. I think I may have gotten a a, a pamphlet from them once. Seriously? I told you like <laughs> years and years ago. I was I was a teenager and I was going trick or treating on Halloween uh -huh. and I went to this house and you know I wasn't given candy or anything. Instead, I was given a condom and a pamphlet. <laughs> From like the Sisterhood of Sex or some kind of some kind of nun group, and it had a picture of a nun praying on the front of it, but it was very clearly about sex. So you know, what the, f the enlightened ones, I suppose. They also believe that uh, that incest isn't wrong because Adam and Eve, they were only two people. How could all of humanity come from just two people? There's only one conclusion Scientifically to that. speaking, wouldn't wouldn't Eve be a clone of Adam? Because, you know, she came from his yeah. rib, right? Yeah. <laughs> Scientifically speaking, if the world was flooded in a great cataclysmic event, wouldn't that mean the ice caps melted or whatever? Possibly. I'm not... So, I'm no scientist. I, <laughs> Scientifically speaking... If... Huh. Go on. I was gonna say something. Scientifically speaking, if there's a plague of fucking locusts, that would mean that there that there was some other cataclysm somewhere else where the locusts naturally, like, gather. And, and something and happened like to them. Yeah. Plague of frogs? That actually happened. There, like, there was, like, a... Uh, actual historical precedence for frogs raining down because like yeah. there would be tornadoes that would that. suck up what yeah yeah that, that's a, that was a thing that happened I think so it's as you uncommon can see, as hell but I made I made this path wider so that people wouldn't get they'd have all this free roaming space and now they're not going to get lost right but they are because it's too wide Oh god! I can't see where I'm going. This park is like a maze. <laughs> People are gonna be trapped there and they're gonna die. In Greek land. And obviously the reign of fire, part of the we're going into all these mythologies today. Like acid rain? Well, no, not acid rain. Rain of fire. You know how it was, like that was one of the plagues. Yeah. It should be just meteors. Like suddenly there's a meteor shower. That also happened in Ursa Yatsura. Uh, the the water turning into blood. Uh, I think that's like an actual thing. The ocean does that doesn't turn into blood. Uh, the but ocean it menstruates. Changes color. <laughs> no, it doesn't actually turn into blood. It just but it like some weird shit happens and like it deoxygenates and like fish die and shit. Well, that that's good. 
Because, you know, I, I hear menstruation att att attracts bears. They can smell it. We don't want ocean bears. <laughs> Water be bears? Scary. Water bears are, are, are already scary. Yeah. Anyway. So, yeah. Uh, I, I think all it boils down to was that Moses was a really good meteorologist. Yeah. He, he staged the plagues. <laughs> that he, well, that? he was like... Maybe, maybe he wasn't even trying to like say they're going to bring some curses down upon you. Maybe he was just like, uh, guys, you know there's like some locusts that are going to come, right? I'm just trying to help out, and then suddenly Is some that locusts a threat? come and start eating... <laughs> no, it's not... <laughs> That's no. just Moses going, no, it's not... No, it... Just let my people go. I can be on my way. You can deal with your plague. We just want to get out of here, like... man. Hey, look, there's going to be an eclipse coming soon, and it's going to be all scary and stuff. Perhaps you could, you're gonna cause the sun to black out? Are, are you an idiot? <laughs> oh, is that a is that a water slide? Yes, that's a water slide. Well, no, it's a of log flume it... technically, but you know, it's things slide, slide down on it, and it's full of water. Yes, yes. Do you know what, uh... Any... Do you know what it's going to be called? Oh, uh, what is it going to be called? This is going to be our Walter slide. <laughs> of course it is. Finally, the Walter slide we've all been waiting for. It just keeps going down. It all returns to nothing. It just keeps tumbling down. Tumbling down. Tumbling down. Is Walter a Cthulhu cultist? No, no, I'm... No, I'm just... I'm... <clears throat> I'm, re I'm re referencing a, a song from Evangelion. I, I didn't realize it had songs. It, it, that, I don't think it was like an original song, just a song that was in it. By the way, the song's about suicide. Okay. Sounds pleasant. Yay! <laughs> There's these cheers about like, these people riding on roller coasters. We're talking about some really depressing shit. Yeah. We're talking about plagues. <laughs> We're talking about... <laughs> Walter. Um, Let's talk about yeah. penguins. Because those, those totally aren't in Evangelion. <laughs> and by the way, there was like a book written by like so, some person that says that penguins were originally from like Madagascar or something. <laughs> this is trying to be all scientific and shit. I just read the front cover and I was like, nope, and I walked away. Huh. Was this after the movie? About Madagascar. I don't. I didn't check the date. I just walked away. I mean, <laughs> one had to have inspired like... the other, right? That can't just be coincidence. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it was like New Zealand. Maybe it was Australia. I don't know. The only point was that I would glean from it was that this person was trying to tell me that global warming was not only bullshit. It was also per like a myth perpetrated by the government to get you to feel fear. It's a conspiracy, man! Oh god. Our environment's being controlled by the NHK. Did, uh... That can't be stable. I I'm hesitant to bring this up since it's kind of... kind of coming back to a subject we finished up on, on our builds. But, uh... uh did uh -huh. you hear about the... Supposedly, they're making an Aunt May spin-off story. Aunt May? From Spider-Man. Why her? What would she I have, have no... to add to the mythos? I have no idea. What, a spin-off? Yeah. Does she need superpowers? That's what I she heard. Became Aunt... No, no, it's a, it's a backstory. Aunt... How... A back... The thrilling tale of how she became Aunt May. <laughs> An origin story for Aunt May. Yes. 
<laughs> Honestly, it's probably when the most was, original was thing that Marvel's done in a long time. Was she secretly a spy? Was she, like, I have no idea. fighting Nazis with Captain America? Like... Uh, that would be impressive, was, granted. She was, like, a, in, like on, on the ground in the frickin' Vietnam War, taking photographs of secret Vietnamese, like, gas nukes or something? I don't know. Well, fuck, if my, my aunt was that badass, I would have sacrificed my uh, marriage to Satan, too. Yeah, it's a... We, uh... It's... It was a weird coincidence that we talked about that in our build. Because two days <laughs> afterward, it came up in in another build. That anyone who, pro who uh. watched it has probably watched anyway, but... It was just really weird that we covered the same topic, both completely unsolicited and one that specific well, too that chapter of spider-man where the spider-man sells his marriage to the devil it's not that it, it's not that an obscure topic though it's not like we were like talking about obscure japanese authors from like the 1970s or frick the freaking beethoven films by the way guests are getting lost or stuck check your paths for redundancies <laughs> <laughs> Get these guests are stupid. Yeah. By the way, I have it checked. I think now so that uh, only only gentle rides are researched because I want I want to get the maze. I want to get the maze in this video. Oh yes, the maze. You should call it the Billy Maze. The Billy Maze. Why? You didn't, did you? Yeah, the Billy Mays. Oh, right. Yeah, I, I, I get it. I got it now. Billy Mays. Hi, Billy Mays here for this theme park. The best theme park I've ever been a part of. It's also simply the only one I've ever been park. a part of. You simply get in the park and get lost. That's right. Once you're in the park, you can never get out of the park. Finally, a theme park that you can be a part of for life. And when we say your life, we mean all of your lives. Yeah, because if you call now, we will... Oh, shit. I... I... My mouth moved faster than my brain. Like, if you call now, you will reincarnate inside this theme park. Oh. And if you're not guaranteed lost by our incredibly complex system of pathways... Then you'll just wait until you see the sign in front of the entrance saying do not enter. <laughs> but we're not done yet! Call now and I'll triple the offer and send you six sticks of suicide putty! Also try our roller YouTube coaster that goes preference. careening straight into a bathroom. <laughs> so you can shit while you shit! So someone somewhere has like a model roller coaster in their bathroom, right? I, I'm sh there's like seven billion people in the world. I'm sure at least one of them has that. Or a model train set. Yeah, that, that'd be kind <laughs> kind of cool, I guess. The one person listens to this and he's like, he's found out my secret. Oh no! My God, it's like they know me. <laughs> uh. Yeah, yes, we okay, do. Okay, now Mr. the paths Bob are less Dillon complicated, of... right? No, because they'll circle around the frickin' hedge. There, are, but there are fewer of them. <laughs> Problem solved. <laughs> Too many uh. pathways. Wait. This is actually one of the better map, one of the better scenarios for that too. Like there's one where they get they get lost and stuck just no matter what you do. It is just inevitable. Hopelessly? Yeah, hopelessly. Like, there's zero there's no way to avoid it. You can fill like, the whole like park with kiosks a... giving out free maps and it won't ma won't make a bit of difference. <laughs> Wait, that's a thing? Yeah, you can you can set your prices to free <laughs> if you want to. You can hemorrhage money. 
Hey, look! Free maps! I'm lost! I it's wonder like, do they if... Get lo do they, they get lost in a dead end? Uh, yeah. I mean, if you, like, have a bunch of them on a path, and then just delete the path that leads back to the entrance, then... I mean, they're stuck. They might as well be surrounded by lava. <laughs> or, uh... Or, or zombies. Yeah. Just can't get through that. That grass is looking kind of crap. Wish yeah. I had people mowing it. JK. <laughs> I don't think it has much of an impact. <laughs> Guests complain because the grass looks shabby. That's not why you're there, guys. You're there to ride a fucking roller coaster. Now, if you were golfing. No, but you're not. <laughs> yeah, if you were golfing, that'd be you'd have a, an actual legitimate complaint. Things have really gone downhill for her since the Phantom of the Opera. Is there a tunnel of love in this game? No, there is like, not. In that kind of. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's a that's a shame. I mean, you could like, like make a, a log flume that's... going through a tunnel and make it pink or something. Same same fucking a... thing, really. That's strictly like a 70s, 80s thing, right? Like the Tunnel of Love. I guess. Like people would go in. Yeah, they're... I mean, I've never really seen them, but... I, I mean, they no, still show up in like TV shows and such. It's it's a myth. That's what it is. People go... What are you supposed to do? You're supposed to go into like a dark tunnel and then... What, you you, you quickly fuck in it? Or, or you kiss? I don't know. I miss the 70s. I do... <laughs> I would have liked to have been around for that. You probably wouldn't have liked all those people smoking weed. Yeah, also the, the Jeff Foxworthy porn mustaches. Yeah, and the, That was a 70s thing, right? Um, uh, yeah, yeah, the, I know what mustaches you're talking about. Yeah, those, those were 70s mustaches. Uh, also coke, there was a lot of cocaine. Or is that an 80s thing? I don't know. I don't know either. I'm trying to think. The 70s was like when hippies became mainstream. And, like, a whole bunch of people just started having sex. Whenever. The 70s, as described by Jack Anderson. <laughs> I, I don't... Like, musically... I'm trying to, I can't, I don't even remember what was big musically, and I, and I know that, like, the 90s, it was, like, when Nirvana was getting really big. Uh. The was 60s se was when the Beatles was starting to get really big. Was 70s the black exploitation era, or was that 80s? That, a whole bunch of grindhouse shit was happening in the 70s and 80s. Yeah, I think that's it was true. mainly the 80s. <laughs> but black Carnival to the future. Was that an actual movie? I'm pretty sure that was a thing. <laughs> Gosh. Uh, this line's getting long. I need a Walter to man it. Walter the elephant. Wait, a man, an elephant manning a line? That's a thing? Yeah, it, it makes people I happy. Can... So they don't get... Is it an actual... They Is it get... an actual, like, elephant elephant? No, it's a guy in an elephant costume. Who probably hates oh, okay. his life and has jowls. <laughs> like, get an actual, like, buy some elephants and just set them to, like, on the, the side of the ride and just hope they don't rampage and kill everybody? Yeah, we get a, we get a few kids with their skulls crushed in, but the other people love it. <laughs> Especially when these kids are getting their skulls crushed in. We got kind of a disturbing theme park. All, all in a day, all a day in Apocalypse Land. <laughs> that's that. That's what Apocalypse Land should have. It should have like a an exhibit or like a ride which which has all of the plagues. Like you go through and you start getting swarmed with locusts, and then like rain of fire, the darkness, the it's gonna and then, the rides and then when you go after. out. Well, that's what the one ride is. It's just all the plagues. And then at the very end of the ride, you come out, and if you're 
And if you're like a, a firstborn, you get di you die. You, you remember you that dream I had where I came down with a bad case of the plagues? <laughs> you told me about this, yeah. Yeah, I was like, a, like <laughs> I I went into a restaurant with a dog, and they got mad at the dog at me having a dog, and I was also sick with the plagues at the time. Like I had a swarm of locusts Please. and darkness following me. I'm sorry. I've got the plagues. I, I I apologize. Probably shouldn't come near me. It's contagious. Almost as good as the time I met Quasimodo the pimp. <laughs> that was a fun one. <laughs> you have weird dreams, dude. Yeah, I do. Yeah. So at this point, it's you pretty much fight just priest a green goblin. Game. Wait, wait and see who, who kills one another first in that game. Wait, waiting for a terrorist to come and bomb, like, the the boat. Waiting for someone to get pissed off so that I can drown them. <laughs> Close enough. <laughs> Just checking my prices. I'm really hoping that maze comes up soon. The scenario is almost over at this point. It's oh, there we go. Yeah, I win. It it is over. Uh, yeah, the, the scenario you win, is you... done. But we can't end this video without what, what the maze. That? Yeah. So what was that? It's just some guy telling you, "Hey, if you park successful, we're promoting you to upper management." Um, all right. I I'll I'll sell the park. I don't need it anymore. I accomplished my objective. Your objective. Your life objective. It was like flip my theme park. <laughs> yeah. So now we're we're speeding up until we finally get the hedge maze. The passage of time in apocalypse land. Oh look at that yeah. coaster oh, go. This is, that's another ride. <laughs> look at it go. The I'm waiting for the for a ride to like just suddenly explode up into flames. But that never happens. Uh you know, I wouldn't be surprised. Everything in this game explodes. It's roller. It's, it, it's not a Chris Sawyer game. It's a Michael Bay game, really. <laughs> Michael Bay's Roller Coaster Tycoon. They should make. They made a movie out of fucking Battleship. They absolutely need to make one about out of this game. <laughs> roller Coaster Tycoon. It's like actually a, like a drama. You got this guy who's like in a top hat. He has a a giant like like fifth like thirties mustache. He has Clint a cane Eastwood is like... on the verge of bankruptcy. His only hope to start a theme park. <laughs> it's like you'll laugh, you'll cry, you'll learn a little bit of your about yourself, and there's explosions along the way. Transformers. <laughs> I I never saw Age of Extinction. I never saw I any of to. the Transformers movies. You're, you are wiser for not doing so. I only managed to uh, watch Dark of the Moon, and it was against my will. Oh. There we go. Hedge maze. Time to build this thing. Yeah, let's build the hedge mage. He hedge maze. The hedge mage. I am the mage <laughs> of hedges. Fear my garden-based sorceries. <laughs> So that, that, that's the green mage, right? The hedge mage? I guess. That needs to be a magic card now. The hedge mage. That'd be like an unset magic card. Like, like it'd be a joke magic card. Yeah, but it could still be useful. <laughs> like what? Like, like, you tap it, it has garden gnome tokens. It summons... Hey, if Vikings can throw gnomes, then why not garden? Why not garden mages? Gar hedge mage, like you're trying to conceptualize that now, aren't you? <laughs> I'm just like, like it seems the like it'd be a new like Disney maze. movie. The <laughs> welcome to my field of dirt. 16 people We max. hope you enjoy. No one going in the exit yeah, path. I'd... Don't want them getting lost there. And let it begin. <laughs> well, where's the exit? 
<laughs> I'm confused. <laughs> <laughs> My god, I'll never make it out of here. I just clicked on a random person. I'm going to watch his happiness drop. <laughs> maybe maybe it's all an illusion. They go in and it's like this big elaborate maze in their heads, but it's really just a field of dirt. It's a good thing it's not raining, otherwise they'd probably be looking up at the sky with their mouths open and drown. <laughs> You think, you think it's Eisen managing? Which way is the exit? You think it's like Eisen managing this theme park? He's like hypnotizing people into thinking they're in this big, like elaborate, like magical maze. They're on this epic sword and sorcery journey. They're just wandering around in a fucking field. That'd be impressive, but I don't think that's what's happening here. No, I, I think what's really happening is I that I think like, we're just the giving guy... them shots of meth when they enter the maze. That's what's inside the entrance booth. <laughs> <laughs> meth or THC or, yeah no, either LSD. one can be like it definitely LSD LSD <laughs> <laughs> that other guy got out too quickly so I'm good Un unfortunately he, f he finally found his way to the exit keep in mind this is sped up like I don't know four or five times <laughs> so it took him like a good ten minutes yeah you know, my, my guests are so damn happy, I just, I can't bring them down, even with something like this. I can't bring them to want to vandalize my park. So I found... They're the, so happy? Like... I found the least happy guy in the maze. This is our, this is our maze Walter. But, you know, he's still not miserable yet. He... A non-miserable Walter scares me. Yeah. <clears throat> to me, Walter's like the embodiment the of, the of every, like... It's like the embodiment of every like just sad man, st old man stereotype you can just shove into one big jowled old dude. So Walter was the kind of guy who just sits in a rocking as chair. The, Walter was reincarnated as the robot in uh, Guide to the Galaxy, right? Yes, that like just this ultra depressed dude who has seen so much horrible shit that he just. Everything else just reminds him of that horrible shit, and it just depresses him. I've calculated our chances for survival, but you won't like it. <laughs> Great, I'm not gonna... No, I'm... Now you're not gonna cut off circulation to your dick. I've taken one of life's great pleasures from you. How dare I? <laughs> <laughs> like you're going to try that now aren't you no i'm not 